Hey guys, Big Flip here. This is a video that's about a week and a half overdue in reference to the proof of Peace Dollars and Morgan Dollars uh, that the Mint just released. Originally they said it would be 250000 at 3 per household. Then they went 250000 at 5 per household. Then they went up to 400000 at 25 per household. Um, I thought that was weird. Everybody was scrambling to get in line for these things with their subscriptions and um, you know you can you can put it in your bag and have it there or you can fight to get through on the day that they release them well these new proof Morgan dollars did not sell out they still haven't sold out and today is the 15th so they were released I think it was the 9th so about a week ago I think it was and then um, so when they release the coins, if you look, I want to show you something here. If you look at the, oh, let's, let me bring up this whole sheet over here for you guys. If we look at this, um, you can do a current product or a subscribe and get free shipping, right? Okay. It says right down here, 400,000. Originally, it did not say 400,000. It said three per household and 250. Then it went to five per household and 250. Then it went to 400,000 and you can have 25 of them. Now it says limit none, 400,000. You can add to your bag, you can buy them now. If you go to subscription on this specific one, um, it says it says down here 400 at 25, household or limit 25. So a lot of people put in 25, but a lot of people didn't know that they had done multiple, me being one of them, multiple subscriptions because you can do another subscription for that same one through your same account and maybe you wanted the five or maybe you wanted the three or maybe you wanted the 25. And what has happened now, which I think is super shoddy of the U.S. Mint, what has happened is after the 24 hours went by and they didn't sell out, they started shelling these all out for your subscription status of what you wanted. So originally it was five and then you upped it to 25. So now it's still five and it's 25. So I originally said three and then I said five and then I said 25. Well, without going into your subscription status and delete, you can't even delete them. All you can do is zero them. So if you zero them, all right, then when you go into the zero them, they say, oh, you can't adjust it three days previous. Well, if you can't adjust it three days previous, they're automatically going to send you the, the, whatever the max is, 25. Okay, I get that. But then after the 24-hour period, they're going to send you the other five and the other three because they didn't sell out. And they're going to do that. See, like me, um, I don't know if you know this, but you can take and use your neighbor's address as the buying address and still have it shipped to your address. Use the same credit card, the same name, just have it shipped from the neighbor's address um, as they bought it to your address as shipped to. So you can do multiple accounts that way. So I had Flipside, um, Sidekick, um, Big Flip, and then I had my neighbor also doing it. So it's I'm very fortunate that I didn't do 25 on every one of them. As a matter of fact, I don't think I did 25 on any of them. I did 20, and 20 is an incredible amount of money. Uh, no, I did 10 was the max I did. But they keep coming in. I keep getting notifications. Your your subscription um, is on the is on the way for another ten. Literally, I want to show you something. Literally, um, this is what I have received from the U.S. Mint so far. This has gone to a credit card, and every one of these is an eighty dollar bill. Add that up. Now. That's not the worst of it. The worst of it is I have another 20 of them coming and did not even know it. 
and the U.S. Mint just keeps billing my credit card because I had gone in and adjusted all my subscriptions to the correct number that I wanted on that day that they were releasing them, and you can't adjust it on that day. You had to have adjusted it three days previous. So I keep getting these one after the other after the other. Matter of fact, I headed out today to go do some shopping. I Before I headed out, I looked out on the front porch. I stumbled on another box of 10 piece dollars laying there. Didn't even know they were coming. I don't understand what's going on here. I do understand that I, I originally subscribed to three and then to five and then to 10 and I could have done 25. It's a good thing I didn't do multiples of 25, but let's get beyond that. So <clears throat> I have more coming, but what am I gonna do with these? What would you do with these? Would you send them back? Because right now today, you can literally buy them because they didn't sell out. And it's because everybody's getting fed up with the U.S. Mint. I think they did me dirty, but I can always send them back. And I think, can you imagine being um, having a debit card on file, working paycheck to paycheck, and the U.S. Mint cl clobbers your debit card for every bit of money that's in your account and freezes it up for three or four weeks? because you're gonna send them back and you didn't want to charge on there. I think the, subscrip the subscribe and get free shipping thing is out of control. And I don't think I'm gonna order from the US Mint again, but let's get beyond that. What would you do? Would you send back everything or, um, here's one more deal, is these Peace and Morgan dollars graded out at a PR70 are only going for about $299 to $360 for the pair. All right, do the math on that. $80 per coin, that's $160. Send them out for grading, another $40, another $80. That's $240. If you sold them for the $300, you make $50 on all that it's taken you to get them to that point. And then they're falling right now because they're not a sellout. People aren't scrambling to get them. Had people been scrambling to get them, the price was, would have gone up a little bit. But it's called the flash in the pan, where right away everybody wants them. They couldn't get them, so they purchased them at higher numbers. Well, if you can go over there and buy them right now, what happens to the flash in the pan? There's no flash. There's no flash in the pan. So um, I was never one to do that. Um, to buy them, to grade them, to put them up. As a matter of fact, I did do the original 21 Morgans. And any of the 69s I sold and only made like maybe $10 after I graded them. But the 70s I kept and I saw the numbers go up and down and over and up and down. Finally, they settled out and finally I've sold a couple. I don't know if I'm going to keep but about two or three of these and send them all back and get credit on my credit card. Now let's get beyond this. Let's look at the coin. I think the coins are really cool. I don't know which one I like best, whether it's the Morgan or the Peace, but let's look at the coins. Here is obviously the Peace dollar. Super neat. You're saying, man, there's stuff on there, but um, I'm not gonna take it out. But if you look at a capsule sideways, at an angle, you can see where there's no mark on the fields, and it just happens to be felt out of the box. Remember, each one of these comes with a box, with the slip, the box, the felt area, and the COA, right? But some of these boxes that I just got are just like 21 when they were rattling around. And I have not looked through all my boxes yet to see if there might be any that have rattled around or maybe even come out of capsules. But I want to show you this. Oh, I'm digging this thing out here real quick. I do want to show you this. These things are rattling inside the capsule. Listen. Um, let me see if this one's better. I'm going to take this to the microphone. Listen. 
So that's no good. Um, I mean, where do you go with this? So now every one of these coins, instead, instead of doing a bulk submission, which I don't trust PCGS or NGC, because if I do a bulk submission, what's to say that they don't keep a few of my 70s and give me 69s? So now what I have to do is I have to, ta have to take a picture of every single coin, which I have a scope that does that, and I have to put every one of these coins on the line if I'm going to send them out for grading. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. As you guys know, if you follow me on my channel, I'm a little indecisive uh, when it comes to making decisions on, and I kind of just think about it and don't do anything and think about it, don't do anything. I'm definitely going to have to do something about this in the next week, figure it out. But I have to get them all here first in order for me to send back what I don't want, right? I don't know exactly how many are coming. I made a phone call. I told him cease and desist. Don't send me any more. I can't. Uh, I don't. I, I'm not doing any more. And they said, well, we did it because it was over the 24-hour period and you still had it marked. And I'm all because you guys wouldn't let me take them away um, because of the three days. You had 72 hours, 20. So, yes, yeah, 72 hours, three days. You had to have had your uh, subscriptions adjusted three days previous to release. So if you sat down and we're going to watch what happened, you couldn't adjust it right then, which is crazy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I gave you a heads up on what is going on with the U.S. Mint. We'll look at the coins before we go. I think they're incredible. I'm looking forward to the... That's another thing. I'm looking forward to the reverse proofs that are going to come out. Let's look at that now. Let me bring up the reverse proofs. Um, let me bring this over here for you guys. Here's the reverse proofs. Um, this product will be available for on sale November 14th. Okay, to be determined is the price tag. But approximately... 165 I think is the number on the two coin reverse proof I think it's 80 and 80 and then another five so if you look at that um, and you wanted to go to subscription on this one you click down here it says product series is available for subscription it's super easy to just sign up again for more yeah it says approximately 185 per subscription one set per year per subscription well that's going to change it says household order limit five what is this one set per year per subscription so if you subscribe to it they're not going to let you get any more but be careful with that because 24 hours later, they're going to give you everything you ever even thought about getting. And it's just going to keep flowing in. So be very, very careful. If you have multiple accounts, cancel accounts, zero out stuff, get your subscriptions under control because it's going to be another fiasco. And that's going to be in November. So um, three months, we'll be going down this nightmare road again over these reverse proofs. Little quick heads up, if you don't know what a reverse proof is compared to a proof, um, let me bring up this here. On a reverse proof, see here the fields, which is the outer part of the coin, um, will be on the reverse proof, they will be the snowy part, and then she will be as shiny as the fields. Same thing with the eagle, same thing with the piece, and the eagle. So the eagle will be shiny and the fields will be um, the snowy looking part of the coin. That's a reverse proof. Really looking forward to those. I was looking forward to these until they kept flowing in. So I'm sorry this video is so long, but um, make sure that you like and subscribe. I will try to do more videos um, in the future, I'm going to do a couple of shorts on these um, Peace Dollars and Morgan Dollars. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments 
or you can always get in touch with me at bigflipcoins at yahoo.com. And then um, another thing is, answer my question, what would you do? If you could make $50 per coin by submitting them, today you can make $50. But tomorrow it might be worse. Would you submit them? Would you send them back? Would you sit on them? What would you do? Comment in the video, and I appreciate it. Uh, tell it to you again. Do something nice for somebody. Pay it forward every chance you get. Let's be good people, and I'll see you on the next one. Please take care. Be safe.